How are you guys? Welcome back. We are at the Melrose Showgrounds today uh, and tomorrow. We're we'll doing a bit of driving on some four wheel drive tracks through the Flinders Ranges. Um, the Melrose Showgrounds are about three hours north of Adelaide, so not a bad little drive. Um, it's actually a really well set up place. It cost us $25 a night for two adults and two kids with the caravan and we got some friends here as well which should be good. Had a fire last night and it was really nice. Haven't been able to have a fire for a long time which was good. <laughs> After tackling the start of the track, we pulled over for a small break. We checked out this old farmhouse. A bit further down the track and we stopped again to check out this old mine. The whole group went up through the mine. It was a steep right. climb out too. Give us a bit of light, Shane. Oh, yeah, all the loose stuff. Yeah, because look, it's all being dug there. It's all dug here. Like yeah, it's, can... it's quite a large roof above us. Like, I'm six foot. Yeah, I'm just like, going monkey, she's now helping me up the hill. Come on, stand up. Do the old roll down and take it down the hill. The ankle slide is fast riding. No, don't put your kid down. Don't, yeah, she's alright, I think. Oh. After exploring the caves, we continued along the winding track up to the peak. We were welcomed with these epic views. Sun fading, sky gazing, stars are the jewels of the night. Hidden behind a horizon, into the
looking out from the top of the hill, we're looking towards Port Germain. Heading down the hill was pretty easy and straightforward. Nothing crazy and not overly steep. We did discover down the bottom that Shane's suspension was rubbing on his tyres. Unfortunately, Shane had just had this suspension installed by a professional too. down at Port Germain at the moment. Stopped in to have some lunch, which is really nice. There's a beautiful playground down here as well for the kids. It's huge. There was a little food van as well, uh, just on the foreshore, which was nice. We managed to get parks all along the foreshore. We're just going for a walk now, just along the jetty, which is actually a massive, massive jetty, which is really cool. Uh, the tide's right out at the moment from what I can tell. I assume the tide comes right up here. Let's see, the tide's way, way at the tip. We're 
we're just making our way to the end of the jetty. It doesn't even look like the tip of the jetty is in the water, so it's a pretty massive tide along here, which is really cool. We're going to go out with a couple of the other guys we're with and see if there's any crabs out here. There were signs saying there were crabs, so I'd expect there to be some crabs for us, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It'd be cool to take some back to camp tonight. Boil them up on the campfire. I think Ollie was doing a good job of trying to find some crabs as well. We've spent most of today driving along the bridle track, which was really cool. Um, some beautiful sights, some amazing hills right up to the peaks, and you can see almost it seemed like forever. It was pretty amazing. We did some hill climbs before and after the, the bridle track as well. We have a couple of cars with us that'll be camping with us tonight as well. The bridal track was really cool. We managed to uh, take all the cars along there. It wasn't overly difficult or technical, but the views were pretty amazing. It was pretty awesome. Did you like the bridal track? You thought the views were pretty cool? Yeah. <laughs> you puffed out, mate. You come running up to us. Yeah, What'd you find? That was cool, Mark. Hey. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's got like fossils in it. the light on it. It looks really cool. It's almost like lava or fossils. Yeah. I'll try and take some more photos of that one to try and work out what it is. It really looks like it's all been really melted and hot. It's really like from like a volcano sandwich. Yeah, we'll have a look. Hello, Mark. Hello. 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 up nice and early this morning we went up to the war memorial at mount remarkable um that was nice we were able to watch the sun come up which is really beautiful um there was a fair sized group of people there which was really nice had the radio on had a little boy playing the trumpet and everything which is great um so that was nice to do we're gonna stick around here for a little bit today have some breakfast uh maybe slowly start packing up um, we haven't got any plan for tonight. The other guys are going back home, uh, but we're probably going to find somewhere else to stay tonight. Um, not sure where yet though, so we'll work it out as we go, but uh, we'll enjoy the morning. It's a beautiful day, blue skies. Uh, so today, yeah, today should be quite nice. Melrose Showgrounds are a really, really nice place to stay. It's really spread out. There's tons of room. We're, there's probably only half a dozen people here today or last night, I reckon, maybe a few more. Um, and we're on the Anzac Day long weekend here in South Australia. So I thought there'd be more people here. We did go through the Melrose Caravan Park on the way to the dawn service this morning. Um, and that caravan park was pretty packed out. So. Um, I'm not sure price wise for their caravan park, but here per night it was 25 bucks for us, two adults, two kids, so um, that was pretty cheap. Quick little stop in Wirraburra at the Silo Art. <laughs> Lolly up on the car. It's pretty cool. I'll um, get some footage of the silos. Excellent.
pretty amazing. It's a lot of talent. We've come down to Discovery Parks in Clare. Uh, we're gonna stay the night here. Looks like a really nice park. It's actually really, really big. Massive jumpy pillow, pool, multiple toilet blocks, big communal area, tons of grass. Um, there's actually, we've got a site uh, just along the creek, just here, which is quite nice. Um, like I said, the park's actually really big. So it's, yeah, we've done a bit of exploring. We're on the opposite end to um, a big animal enclosure. And there's a council playground down there as well. So yeah, we went down there and fed the animals. I'll put some footage up showing that. That was really cool. I'm um, looking forward to doing a bit more exploring. Be good. Quick, Keanu, get it back. <laughs> hey, mate. You go, you feed them, that's all right. You feed them. You're going to feed them? Do you want me to feed them? Yeah. Ready? You go. Nope. No, it's the green bits only. <laughs> We've just stopped into a beautiful little place called Mintaro Maze. Awesome coffee. Good coffee. Uh, there was an entry fee for the adults and the kids to come in, but there's a beautifully manicured maze that we've just spent the last half an hour going through pretty cool little place you can see all the little goodies around the place and they've actually got a little activity sheet that you fill in and um, you find different things and letters and uh, little statues and so forth on your way through pretty cool Thank <laughs> you. 